Thank you. Namaste. Excellencies, distinguished guests, participants, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Um, very glad and happy to see also my colleague Susie Camelia Reimer and her husband, Cal Camelia. I'm thankful that I can join you today for the second international conference on Vedas for World Peace. And once again, I'm thankful that I can join you today for the second international conference on Vedas for World Peace. It is great to know that the Honorable Minister of Education of India, Dr. Ramesh Pokhrial, and Dr. Tony Nader, researcher, president of Maharishi Vedic Universities, author and leader of the Transcendental Meditation Movement, have joined forces to propagate Vedic knowledge for establishing world peace. I want to compliment both these great leaders for their wonderful initiative to spread Vedic knowledge and their commitment to spreading peace to all corners of the world. The Vedas, as we already heard, contain a wealth of wisdom of which many people of the world have yet to learn about, which includes myself. I'm glad to see the awareness growing also on this side of the world, in the Latin American region, specifically under the region, uh, leadership of UMLAC, University of Marishi for Latin America and the Caribbean. The quest for peace is universal. It is individual, but it's also collective endeavor, irrespective of any region, country, case, color, religion, every individual every human being wants peace in the life. Leaders from all religions, governments, and all responsible citizens of all countries wish that their country and their community is peaceful. The whole world is still struggling, unfortunately, to achieve global peace and is still striving to achieve shared prosperity, yet often resisting the achievement of the shared wish for world peace by precisely insisting on the peace and prosperity in particular parts, not fully conscious that the whole is greater than the aggregate of the parts. Vedic literature can help unlock more in-depth knowledge about life and living conditions in communities around the world. It not only teaches peace, but propagates peace. The Vedas are of universal quality, a real philosophy of peace, as well as a true way of living life, experiencing true happiness and prosperity. At its core, it creates awareness that self-realization is the way to peace. Now more than ever, particularly now that we are dealing with unprecedented challenges and consequences of a global pandemic, let us strive to clear fear, pressure, and stress in the world and make way for peace. When we find greater awareness and peace inside, we inspire others to seek peace, in turn creating more peaceful, peaceful surroundings and communities. As Yajur Veda states, good thoughts naturally culminate into good actions. Curacao and India coming together. Universities of Curacao and India collaborating and these two leaders coming together. We are cementing the bonds to continue promoting peace in this world through a scientific Vedic wisdom. Thank you so much for the opportunity and for giving me hope for a more peaceful and blissful world. I wish you a very successful seminar today. Namaste.